What's up guys, this is the Rofman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as uh, Mexico. For some reason a bit of a brain fart there. So to round off up last time, we secured the Leeward Islands and we've moved our forces over to Jamaica. Um, we fought against the Prussian stack on this side of our this side of the Great River, bringing our troops over to the northern bank. And we also secured Den uh, Copenhagen, Denmark against the Prussians. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to keep a stack here to, pre to prevent the Prussians from attacking me over the strait. Because ultimately I think fighting down here might just be a bit of a bore and a bit of a grind. Especially considering I've been fighting lots of Prussians in my US campaign. So what I'm tempted to do is to deploy a stack. Actually let's move you just to blockade their port. Let's move this navy to here. Then move this navy over here. Because um, I've been doing lots of fighting against the Prussians as the, in my US campaign. I think that might be a bit boring for some people, at least to see it um, again in my Mexican campaign. So what I'm tempted to do is use these forces and use Copenhagen as a launch pad to support attacks in St. Petersburg to maybe capture um, Estonia and Courland in this area, or maybe to go on to threaten Moscow itself. I think I might capture Moscow. That'd be a fun thing to do, I think. Then recruiting in St. Petersburg keeps on continuing. Like I said, what I, really I should have recruited just 10 infantry to sit as a garrison in St. Petersburg, and then I could spend my time just pumping out infantry. I've only got 151,000 population, so I'd be careful. That's me. Um, but yes, I think that's going to be my plan. Let's go into that. Oh yeah, because you see fighting against the Prussians might just end up being another grind, which may or may not be fun, depending on your stance on it. Like right now, right now, from my point of view, I'm grinding a lot against them. Well, I have done a lot of grinding against the Prussians. So I think I might be more interested to fight in, fight, take Estonia, take Courland, maybe, and then drive on to take Moscow. I think that'd be the most fun route. Oh yeah, you're being not, you're being destroyed because you hate me, and that's fair enough. If I can, I'd like to get a religious school there, but I'm pretty sure the Prussians will just raid it. Yeah, the Quebecs are extremely unhappy. They demand Portugal, and they'll give me lots of cool. See, if I was in any other game, if this was just if this was earlier in game and they were giving me lots of advanced tech, then maybe. But right now, I don't really, I don't really want to because. I'm going to get steam, steam pump line drains, power loom, threshing machine, steam engine. That's very big. That's very big from the AI to offer that. But I just don't need it. I've got lots of universities myself that can research that stuff anyway. It's not as though I've got a problem. I've not got like a, a bottleneck on my research capabilities. So it's not something I'm bothered about. I'd much rather keep Portugal to meet my victory conditions. Because right now I've got to capture nine territories um, in order to to win as Mexico. So I think what could be on the docket is is to probably hold another faction vote. Because nine factions isn't that many. I've probably got about half a dozen to capture in the Americas. If I take a couple in Russia, you know, I'm almost there. I'd like to, even if I meet my conditions, I'd like to capture Moscow. <laughs> Just for the idea of the Mexicans have captured Moscow. Yep, the Prussians are I'm just going to happily let them raid. Ooh. Interesting. I mean, they're very depleted. The reinforcements aren't, but this army is. But let's do it. To wear them down. The only thing I am afraid of is fear. God damn it, Wellesley. Re watch Batman. To conquer fear, you must become fear. So I think I've got about five or six regions in the Americas I'm going to capture. Then if I capture a handful in Russia... Well, to be honest, I might just make my drive on Moscow be a bit more important. So maybe land my troops down to drive drive straight into Moscow. Could be an option. This terrain. Oh, stupid mouse wheel. Yeah. 
because the terrain the terrain here is a bit hilly and a bit rubbish for artillery. So we need to deploy this this block of infantry properly, and then let's actually deploy these guys properly. Bring my general in. And they're all going to go for the artillery first shot. Here comes their reinforcements who are up to strength because this army just aren't. That's it. <laughs> you within quick line range, you are. So just start a rapid firing quick line. their cavalry dealt with, that's their artillery dealt with, sorry. Speed up a bit till they get to our lines. Just let my artillery keep hitting those artillery right at the back. Eventually they'll rout. Yeah, that quick climb is just all powerful. But soon they're about to hit our lines. Blast that dragoon unit, but there's no point. <laughs> yeah, you better run because you can see the absolute carnage that's heading your way. Goons. Still fancy my heavy cavalry's chances. Particularly after a few volleys of my own infantry. Firstly, let's retarget you before worrying about my infantry. Doesn't even matter. Just out of range. Make it to my guns, but <clears throat> just let him. Let's 
Let's get you to man your guns again. Just keep targeting my my guys to Oh no wait, you're what I need, no, you're what I need, aren't you? Yeah, but just keep saying my guys to uh my quickline powers to target the reinforcements coming in. Oh yeah, you guys better deploy stakes alright. In case you want to form a little redoubt here. Bugged out. <laughs> These guys are just gonna fire and fire and fire. Just fire with round shot and just start. I might just speed this up a bit because. And let's use canister shot to actually hit these guys with a close. Looks after they are bugged. Your dragoons ain't got nothing. Yeah, they've lost 13 already and I haven't lost any. Still haven't lost a single cuirassier. You guys better figure something out. So one of you go after that artillery. Another one of you go after the colonial militia. Ceasefire with all of my howitzers. Where's my general? Let's get my general into the mix. Just hit them now. Turn off my howitzers. Straight into them. The 32nd Regiment. Let's halt fire with you.
continue because their armies are still on the field. Come on, come on, come on, chase him down. Good, and you go after these guerrilla mercenaries. There's only one guy left. Got him. I think they're just chewing them apart. Expert elite heavy cavalry. Because they get more melee attack, higher defense. Yeah, they're probably going to leg it. So I may as well go for the, these guys as they're running back into the map. May as well make them run. They're not going to make it. There's only five guys left. Decisive victory. Lovely, lovely. Good. I've got nothing left. Those uh, Quebec stacks are going to retreat once I knock out Jamaica. Well, they're going to vanish once I knock out Jamaica. The Ottomans are up to something, but what they're not up to is recapturing their own damn territory. Hmm. Savoyards are knocking out the, the uh, Barbary states. They lost against someone there. Hmm. Sweden. Of course they have. Do we call my allies in to help? I may as well, because they'll probably call theirs in. I'm joined by Great Britain. The Marathas haven't joined me. Oh no, poor old Britain. <laughs> there is a clamour for reform in this region due to the spreading of enlightened ideas through research and education. Don't worry, I've smashed that down now. No more enlightenment where you're going. Well... So let's test this out. Blockade your navy. Now I can cross the street. Your job is to head north to hit Norway. Your job is to threaten Stockholm. Let's get some more troops on the go here. Let's do that, then get two units of line infantry guards. Good. This is what happens, Sweden. I was just happily minding my own business. I wasn't even didn't even care what you were doing. Good, so you've got a line of infantry guard. Okay, let's get another line of infantry guard, and then let's get a load of line infantry. Good. National debt has been researched. So they're onto carbines, may as well. They can't, nothing else really useful they can re research. Let them raid, can't touch me. Provence has been blockaded. So I guess I'll just do this. Eh, it's not no, that's just going to be a no. It was going to be a proper fight, Yankton. So, now will you let me out? It's bizarrely, you hate me even more. Don't worry, your happiness building will be here soon. 
comes another fleet. Well, to be honest, I might actually use this, this guy to hit Norway. You can also move against Stockholm. Then go in there and raid their blockade. Go raid their dockyard. God, God damn it, Sweden. To be honest, I mean I have to... Oh, start pushing on Moscow immediately then. Once these armies have been built, just effectively send them down to go hit Moscow. Because the campaign's not going to be around for very long. Yeah, that's all you. Wait, is that orthodox religion? It is. Knock that down. Let's build you. I know you're there, but you're not really worth worrying about. Successful missions. Everyone's in intercepting everyone. Agent killed. The dogs. We can siege. Let's take you. Take them out. So. Okay, let's put you into Quebec just for one more turn just to get them to chill out. Because these guys are going to be on their way. You still hate me. Yes, you do. Yeah, nation destroyed. Quebec. Very unceremonious ending, but, you know, these things happen. Gerard Garocho. To be honest, I'll put you in another ship and sail you. I don't even need to do that. Because I've got this stack of ships here. They're not really doing anything. So let's get this guy to New York. Let's get him over to Europe as well. Because he could theoretically knock out Sweden pretty quickly. Because if I'm... They're going to hit Norway... These guys are going to get hit at Stockholm. That fleet, the fleet I've just sent, I want to send and take Finland. And that's just Sweden out within a turn. Jamaica's been captured. Attacking general. Sweet. One university. Am I building that still? Yeah, I am building that still. Two turns. Yeah, you've got it. Got, yeah, patriotic fervor's going up. Come on, Bren. Ooh, yeah, go on. Use your amphibious forces. Oh, God, you lost a lot of ships. In my head, I had a mental image of effectively a troop ship sailing up next to a Swedish man of war, and they go, oh, no, there's nothing. Don't worry about that. That's just a transport ship. There's nothing in that. And then suddenly, <laughs> you know, a ramp drops out. Out comes 3,000 troops, all just running across the planks. I thought you said they had 300. Well, 300, 3,000. I'm a pirate. Mm, you're in a bit of a stuck position, aren't you now, Prussia? Right, one of them... Oh, God, all right. So, my garrison force in Uruguay territory might have to run out and fight some combat. Yep, yeah, the Ottomans are doing what the Ottomans do. Attacking your computer. But yes, I think what I'm going to do is after I record this part, I'm going to record a faction vote video. So because this is a minor faction, I'm going to go through what minor factions I can currently play with my mods. And then I will list a few minor factions I think would be fun. But here comes the mighty Ottoman Amphibious Invasion. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. I think it's going to be things like... Well, ultimately, there's, in my head there's two I think I'd quite like to try play. 
uh, the, the Knights of St. John and the Italian States. And there's probably a couple more I can't remember. I'll make sure I... I'll go through and check which ones I can play. Because even though I've got... I'm pretty sure I've got Total Factions installed, they're still not... I still can't play all of them for some reason. Successfully blockading an enemy fishing port. This will affect their food supply. Keep this up. And oh, thanks for really getting me down, AI. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, you hate me. Do you have university? Yes, you do. And you'll like me again, because you'll have no clamour for reform. There we go, lower your mind. So they could. They're probably going to bunch together and try and assault me. They're more than welcome. I am fully prepared for such a problem. Ah, here comes a Russian stunt coming from the west. A la orden. Preparados. So I'm going to move them over to this side. En then let's get... Can I get any skirmishes? Blunderbuss blunder shotgunners, which aren't quite what I want. I can't recruit any skirmishers, sharpshooters, but I don't have machined rifling, but I can't recruit bog standard light infantry. Fine, give me two units of fusiliers. They're kind of like light infantry. They're good at shooting, but not so good at melee. Good, another rake, as if I need any more of them. move you out? Probably not. Well, it'll be no, but... <laughs> God, they really do hate me. It'll get better. Fleet arrives, so let's sail them. Oh, can they not get through the straits? Okay, so if I move you there, temporarily... There we go. So that's what it was. I was blocking them so physically they couldn't get through. So in, in one turn or one or one part really, Sweden's declared war on me and they're about to lose <gasps> Well not sigh, shock sigh, but you know. It's a lot of troops. So I might actually Sail you to a port so I can engage you in a bit of land fighting. Yeah, Denmark's garrison's block is filling up. Noise captured. Good, good, good. Hmm. Okay. Can't build a happiness building. That's unfortunate. Well, no, not a religious building, sorry. Ah, comes another Russian stack. Yeah, if I keep you like that. <laughs> Take a handful of turns. Get Tron Diamonds being destroyed. Call cool, this hit end turn. Ah, one of my agents got killed, and I completely forgot about those Prussians. Eh, whatever. My armies that are near. Mexico, I will just... not Mexico. Quebec, I will just send them south. See, Austria, you're in a bit of a quandary now, aren't you? You don't quite know what to do. Oh no, I freed up the straits. God, 
See, why is this 50-50? This fight. <laughs> and yeah, see if the Prussians capitalise on that and decide to, to drive through the gap and free one of their settlements. I doubt they will, but, you know, you never know. What I want to do is this. March up and engage them in good order. If they have mortars, I don't fancy sitting back. Sit back here. Climb. Cavalry. Sorry, cavalry, you're gonna get squashed. Sort of. Not massively. Get him in. Let's hold my artillery. <laughs> Just look at that route. Definitely continue, but just let, <laughs> just let the game tick on. Let people chase down who they want to chase down. Yep, killed some more infantry there. Give me general. Nah, they keep they're gonna route. Four, three, one. Someone's not routed. You be wanna get caught up to. <laughs> Tagged. Oh William Wordsworth. Yeah, that's the end of you. But I need to hope that I'm pretty sure they won't. God, there's all these all sorts of Prussian stacks running around being cheeky little scamps. But I'm pretty sure they must be fairly um, fairly oh, what do you call it? Not attrited? Not really attrited. Knackered. <laughs> oh yes, that's exactly what I want to see. Russian assault in St. Petersburg. But... Looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the defence of St. Petersburg.